Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben with uh, Blades, Bows, and sometimes Bushcraft. Um, Labor Day weekend, and I got to get out and check out a couple of uh, garage sales that I saw uh, advertised through like Facebook and Craigslist and stuff that had axes listed in the, uh, in the advertisement. And I picked up these two bad boys for a total of $12. Um, this is pretty awesome. This is a Kelly axe, probably from the 50, 60s, 50s, maybe 60s. Um, and the handle's shot on this, so I'm gonna have to uh, cut the handle off and redo it, or put a different handle on, whether I make it or buy it, I don't know. Uh, chances are I'm probably gonna buy it because making handles takes an extreme extreme amount of time so cool Kelly um, check up with that one later um, but this is the one I'm gonna be working with today there's something odd about this bad boy if you can't uh, already see um, some knucklehead hung it upside down just like I did with uh, one of my son's axe hatchets and this is a really cool handle. Um, got a nice fawn's foot on the end. Really nice swell. And I don't know what technical term for this bend is, but it bends back towards the head of the axe. And I really like this handle. And so I want to save it. And I've never seen a video <clears throat> where anybody's tried to save the handle that they're taking the head off of. But that's what I'm going to do today, and I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. This is a Craftsman Axe. Um, I don't think it's that old. I think probably 80s. Um, not that impressive of a find, but um, I like the handle a lot, and I have some time. And so I'm going to try to drill out the wedge and punch the handle down and see what we can do. All right, so you can see that the wedge isn't really that thick. And uh, it's a pretty tight fit. It's uh, put on really well, it just happens to be upside down. So I'm gonna use a 964 spit, and I'm gonna try to drill out the wedge, um, and then I'm gonna try to punch the handle down through, um, not on the carpenter's vise, but on my, my big vise behind me. So. I'm going to try to drill this out as best as I can, being careful not to hit the hickory, and uh, we'll see what happens. There's the first mistake. Knew that was happening. Broke my drill bit. Moron. Let's see if it still works. Hey! -oh. Watch out for the hyper tough, fellas. Watch out for the hyper tough. Oh, we got movement, folks. My blinds just fell down. Oh. 
We got crap falling all over the place. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sweet. Now I can save this handle that probably cost like 12 bucks in the first place, but I've always wanted to try that and I'm pretty stoked. Look at that. You can see that it's going to clean up pretty nice. Alright, so we're up from the grinder, knocked off some of the rollover, touch it up on the belt sander, touch up this edge a little bit, and finish it off with a file and uh, some stones. So, pretty rough. Somebody really beat on that thing quite a few times. want to break the wedge I hate when I do that so well that's it only broke two drill bits and uh, was able to do what I wanted to do even though I'm not quite done yet I gotta sand this handle down quite a bit uh, it looks a little awkward feels a little awkward um, gonna thin it out but I wanted to save the handle and I was able to do that, so I'm pretty proud of myself, actually. Um, yeah, only losing two bits, uh, saving this handle and getting it on a pretty cool craftsman head. Even though it's not that old, um, it's more about um, having a challenge, not knowing how to do something, and figuring out a way to do it. So I really, uh, I'm pretty happy. So. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like it, hit like. If you want to see more stuff from me um, and uh, my kids, deer season's coming up. Um, if you want to see some hunting and that kind of stuff, um, you know, hit subscribe and uh, share the video, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.